this demonstration, we're going to show you how to create a filter that works on a table, but do the filtering in the client. So to do this in the client, you first need to get all the records into the table and store them on the client. And to do that, you're going to use a table, but you're not going to use the wizards to hook it to data because that hooks it to a service data provider and service data provider doesn't keep the data on the client in an array. Um, the way to do it is to actually define a new variable, which is an array data provider. And this variable would have a type. So we're going to create a type that is based on the data that you're aiming to fetch. In my case, this would be employees. I'm just going to pick up the fields that are interest for me. Name, and let's say those are the fields and then call this one amp type. So this is just a type of data. Then we're going to create a new variable. This variable is going to be array data provider and we'll call it the amp ADP. ADP stands for array data provider. And we're going to specify that this is based on this amp type and that the key attribute here is the AD. All right, so now we have a variable and then we can go back to the page. We have a table and we can hook up this table to this variable. So we'll go over to the data, hook it up to the ADP, and then in the table column, we'll be able to choose the columns we want to show over here. Okay, like that. Um, so now we don't have any data in the table and that's because we didn't populate this array. So let's add a button that would populate the data. Okay. And we'll call this one the fetch button. And we'll define an event. In the event, we're going to call a rest endpoint. Hook this up so it picks up all the employees. This is the rest endpoint. And we're then going to assign this to our ADP. Okay, we're not signing it to the whole ADP, but rather to the data over here. So inside the ADP, there's an array with this structure of an item. And this should be quite similar to the array that is returned here, okay, from fetching the data. So we can take the items, map it to the data, and make sure that we populate an empty array when we do this. Okay. So now if we go back to our UI, switch over to work in live mode and click the fetch button, it populates our table with the data. Now all the data is right now on the client in an array. So now we can also filter it. To filter it, we can write a simple piece of JavaScript code. Let's write a little JavaScript code over here. I'm going to pick up this code from here and paste it. So this code gets a filter and an array. And then in my case, what I'm doing here is I'm looping over the array for each row. I'm checking the name field for this specific row against the filter. If it matches whatever value is in the filter, I put out a console message just so you'll know we're here. And then I populate another array, which I'm then returning. Okay, so I'm basically creating another array just with the records that match the condition over here. Okay, um, so um, let's see how we can invoke this little method. So the first thing we want to do is a filter field. So let's add a filter field over here. You can call this one search. And then the value here is going to be hooked up to a variable. I'm going to call this one the filter val. It's just a string. And then when this one changed, so let's add an event here. When we change the value, okay, what we want to do is we want to call our module function. Okay. And this is the filter array function. This function expects two parameters, an array and the filter. And so the filter is coming directly from here. Okay, the filter field. The array is again the array of data that we have inside the ADP, like that. Okay, so this calls our filter method, so we can change it to say call filter. 
Okay. Now the call filter we know returns an array. Okay. And the array type is again the amp type because we're returning the same structure. So once we get the results, the filtered results, we can assign them back into the ADP. So we're going to go over. In the AMP ADP, we have the array over here, and the call filter also returns an array with the same structure. We just say that. So we can take the results and assign them over here. Again, make sure that you're assigning it to an empty array. Right, and that's all we need. So back to our page, switch to live mode, click fetch to fetch all the records. And then for example, if I'll put in Jane, we'll get just Jane, okay? And um, again, if you want back all the records, you can either do a fetch or you can have the records backed up somewhere and repopulate the array. And um, so that's a basic search on the client. Um, and the way to know it is if you actually look in your network traffic, okay, when you're doing this, okay, we have all the records here. We're going and we're doing, for example, looking up for Dave. You can see there are no fetches being done. Only when I click fetch, I'm going back to the server and I'm fetching all the employees. That's basically it.